Hey streamers, do you want this? This is Ground Control, our new desktop app that puts all the stream elements tools you need to manage your stream right at your fingertips. All right, now come with me as I'm about to go live and let me show you how Ground Control helps me by not having a million browser tabs open and it keeps my CPU from dying of heat exhaustion. So we can't use Ground Control without installing it first. So let's do that. So you wanna head on over to streamelements.com slash ground control. You'll see this beautiful page. You can scroll down to see all the features that ground control has, but what we wanna do right now is download. So hit the button that uh, matches your operating system. For me, it's gonna be Windows. I'm just gonna click that. And it's gonna ask you to download something. You say, save, and just give it a second. All right, okay. once it's downloaded, just double click this file and uh, we'll speed through the installation process. Here we go. There we go, done. All right, so now that we're running Ground Control for the first time, uh, you can see it on my screen. Uh, I'm running it already on this uh, with a simple layout, only two, uh, two panels, got my multi-chat up, uh, to see chat from multiple platforms when I'm live, if I'm streaming to, you know, Twitch, YouTube, uh, X, you know, whatever you want. And then I got my multi-platform activity feed on the left. And as, as you can see, I got some events coming in from, you know, Twitch, YouTube, Trovo, X, uh, you know, from all the platforms that we support, just to give you an example of what it could look like once you got all those events coming in. So I'm gonna be streaming some Elden Ring. So I know already that I need to change my title, my category. So we can do that in Grab Control. So let's just go on over to the right side here so we can add a panel. And we're going to add the quick settings panel. I'm just going to put it up here. Uh, I'm going to change my title. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's how you write his name. Uh, and then we can change our category. Let's change it to Elden Ring. There we go. Perfect. Submit. And there we go. Stream settings updated. I already know I'm going to be playing Elden Ring. So how about we do a cheeky death counter? And the way we do that in ground control is we go over here to the right side, grab the bot counters panel, drag it over here or whatever you want. And as you can already see throughout as I'm doing this, all these panels are pretty easy to, you know, create your own layout, drag and drop, just rearrange them however you want. So up to you, right? Um, let's, let's put our bot, bot counters here and our multi chat here. There we go. All right, so we got no counters. So how about we add a death counter? Click here to add a counter. We're gonna call it deaths. Start at zero, because we haven't started yet, and click submit. And there we go, we got a little death counter right here, and you can, as you can see, you can add to it or remove from it straight from ground control. So, and you can also do it via chat command, but this is what's great about ground control. It's just click and it's done. So I'm live now. So the first thing I wanna do is check how my stream looks. And we put in this nice little stream preview so that you can do that. Just drop it in here. And I'm offline right now, but if you're live, you will see exactly what your chat will see. So that's great. You can just keep it there and move it around, place it wherever you want. Just keep out track how your stream looks. Next, maybe chat's not vibing so much, so maybe I need to spice it up. How about we use some chatbot modules? And you can do that straight from ground control as well. So go over here, grab the bot modules panel, drag it on over. And as you can see, I have a lot of games and stuff that people can do, and you can just turn them on and off. Like I love emo pyramids. So how about we turn that on? Let chat do some pyramids with uh, Keck W's. You know, it's fun. So you can just turn on and off any of these modules straight from ground control. And if you hit these three little buttons here, you can just remove the panel and add it again if you need to, right? And now, oh shoot, I died in Elden Ring. How common. So now, of course, we can just go ahead and add a death to our death counter while we're live and it will update and it'll show on screen, which is great. Next, what if chat is getting bored of Elden Ring and I want to, I want them to vote on which game I can play next. And we added a Twitch specific feature where you can do polls straight from ground control. So as you can see, I already ran one. So we could just click this button. Game should I play next? Give them a couple of options. And then change your settings to how you want them and just click submit. And that's it. We got a poll running straight from ground control without ever having to leave this app. And that's it, that's ground control. So as you can see, you have a lot of tools right at your fingertips, ready for you to customize the layout and just basically make it your own and make it work for you. Uh, our devs are 
very excited about this app and we're gonna keep developing and adding more and more features, so keep your eyes open. But for now, go to streamelements.com slash ground control, download it and start using it today.